السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لا حول ولا قوت الا باللہ العلی العظیم افوز امری اللہ و اللہ بصیر بالعباد الحمد وثنا للہ رب العالمین ثم الصلاۃ والسلام و تحد الکرام علی جمیع الانبیاء والمرسلین و شہدا و صالحین و صدیقین و علی خیر خلق ہی البشیر نذیر السراج المنیب القاسم محمد اللہ صلی اللہ محمد ولی محمد و علی علی بیت طیبین الطاہرین و العند ملا اعدائہم اجمعین اما بعد فقد قال اللہ سبحانہ تبارک و تعالی فی کتابه الكریم هو استق الحدیث بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایہ الرسول بلغ ما انزل الیک من ربک فإن لم تفعل فما بلغت رسالاته واللہ یعصمک من الناس صدق اللہ و صدق رسوله و صدق ولی کریم صلوات اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی محمد فرسٹ اور فرموسٹ اور لائک تو بلکم آل آف یو Brothers and sisters, from bottom of heart, our dear brothers and sisters in San Antonio. I see San Antonio. I miss the uh, place and also I miss all of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us strength and tawfiq to perform our duties and responsibilities. Alhamdulillah, you have a great scholar, Mawlana Sayyid Jawad Wahidi, and he is leading there. And I believe that, inshallah, with his leadership and dedication and devotion from you, and inshallah, all the blessings and bounties from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can achieve all the ni'mat and rahmat. And also, I would like to extend my tabrika, tahiyat, my best wishes. For the day of Ghadir, Ghadir o Khumin, one of the greatest, not one of the, the greatest ayyad, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Eid al-Ghadir, to you all and all the mu'mineen around the globe and to Imam of our time, Hajjal Allah ta'ala for Hajjal Sharif, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us the ni'mat bounties of the vilayat of Amir al-Mu'mineen in this dunya, time of the death, in our grave, and on the judgment day. So inshallah, we can enter to the paradise with Imam al-Muttaqeen, Ya'asub al-Deen, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Salimina, Aminina, Qanimeen, welcome by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah. So brothers and sisters, it's my honor and pleasure to address to all of you in this auspicious occasion of Ghadir. Alhamdulillah, Ghadir, the celebration which is happening around the globe every year is a great connection to the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wasatul khair. Wasata is a means to Allah and from Allah to us. From us to Allah, from Allah to us, both way wasita is ghadir, right? Let's take one step back. What ghadir is? I would like to refer to a hadith from noble prophet of Islam. Noble prophet of Islam, he said about ghadir, Yawmu ghadir khumin, the day of the ghadir of khum, a day is referred to 18th of the Hajjah. Ghadir Khum, Ghadir Khum was the name of the desert or valley or junction between Mecca and Medina. Right? So take one step back. Back then, in the time of noble prophet of Islam, People, those who used to come from north, south, east, west, from any space or any place, they have to go to one of the miqats. Miqats, they want to go to Mecca, 
they have to go to one of the miqats. Miqats is a place where they should wear the ihram and with the talbiyah they can enter. For example, if they are coming from one angle, they have to go to Yalamlam, Zato Irq, uh, Masjid al-Shajara, or Juhfa, and so on and so forth. Right? For going to Mecca. But after they perform the, the, the perform the Hajj, they're going back, usually they used to go with one route, everyone. And the place which is ghadir e khum was junction not only for hujjaj those who came as a haji from different places and they performed the hajj they're going back even for the people of mecca and surrounding people junction of ghadir was one of the desirable place to go there and to have some tradings with hajis and any uh, uh, businessman or anyone who had any leftover things he or she was hoping to sell everything there and also hajis if they were they had no chance to buy the goods whatever they could get from their point so that was a very strategical junction so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Holy Prophet on the day of Ghadir, which is 18th of the Hajjah, in that valley, Ya ayyuh rasul ballig ma unzala ilayka min rabbik, convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him, noble Prophet of Islam, he delivered the message with a grand uh, uh, you know, uh, ceremony hundreds of thousands, right? So that grand ceremony, noble prophet of Islam, he delivered, that is considered as a Yawmu ghadir khum the day of uh, ghadir khum So like, for example, what you can see that some of the, for example, uh, you know, uh, uh, contracts happen or some of the event happen, they refer to, for example, uh, that day, whether good or bad, right? So that is refer. So Ghadir Khum is a place, valley, a junction. Yawm, the day, which is 18th of the Hajjah, that place happened. Right? It's clear. Holy Prophet says, Yawm Ghadir Khumin, Avdalu A'ayad Ummati. One, not one, the greatest A'ayad Eid festival of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the earth. Subhanallah. Although we have Ayyad, Eid Fitr, end of the month of Ramadan, Eid Qurban Adha, during the Hajj, the Hajjah, just we passed last week, Jumu'ah, and also we have other Ayyads, which is recognized and non recognized, right? 15th of Shaban, or Mubahila, and so on and so forth. But Ghadir is the most important. Why? Because that's the link between Nabuwats and Imamats. If you don't have this link, nothing will remain from Islam, period. SubhanAllah. It's very important to understand. Again, noble prophet Islam, he wants to continue. This is the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded me. On this day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded me to appoint my brother Ali bin Abi Talib as alam, flag, as the one who is identified as a flag of Islam. Subhanallah. Alaman li ummati, for my ummah. Why? The flag is the symbol of being guided. For example, if you have a flag, by looking to the flag, you can follow. If you see that, for example, there's a flag, you can be direct your navigation towards that, right? 
by looking, having Ali as a mizan, Ali yun mizan, Ali yun haqqun. Subhanallah, babu ilmin, babu hikmatin, and so on and so forth. You can go on and on. All of this, why? Yahtaduna bihi min ba'adi. So, people, they can be guided by looking to Ali after me. Yahtaduna, they will be guided. Brothers and sisters, it's very important to understand that people, only and only, they can be guided with beloved Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen after the noble prophet of Islam. Subhanallah. Imamats is the continuation of what? Risalats. If Risalats come to the end, Khatum al-Anbiya wal marsalin Khatum al-Nabiyin, all of us, Sunni, Shia, we believe that he is the least seal of the messengers, he's the last messenger, there is no la nabiya ba'di, there shall be no nabi, no prophet, no uh, uh, rasul after me, then the continuation of the hukm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divinely appointed goes for what? For imamats. Ya taduna min ba'di. Subhanallah. How? Just brothers and sisters. Go and read Ziyarat Jame Kabira. Assalamu alaikum ya ahla bayt nubuwa. Ma'adin risala. Makhtalif al malaika. Mahabat al wahi. Khusan al ilm. Munt al hilm. Wasul al karam. Just you go and read each and every sentence, the ocean of ma'rifah. That it will be connecting point for this beautiful hadith of noble prophet of Islam where he says, Yahtaduna, Yahtaduna bihi min ba'adih, min ba'adi. They will be guided through him, Imam Ali, after me. وَهُوَ الْيَوْمَ الَّذِي أَكْمَلَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ الدِّينِ What a beautiful hadith. This is the day on which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completed his deen. Wow. Before that, there was no complete deen? No. Why? Because Hazrat Adam came, there was no complete deen yet to be continued by Nuh. Nuh came yet to be continued to after him. Ibrahim, after him, Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub, and Benjamin, and so on and so forth. After him, Hazrat Musa, after him, Hazrat Isa, and between thousands of prophets. And the last messenger is noble prophet of Islam. Al-Yawm akmaltu lakum deenakum. Al-Yawm. Today is the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completed. Why? Because even by noble prophet of Islam's mission in the beginning, without the imama, this mission is not completed. That's why by appointing noble Imam Ali by noble prophet of Islam with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, deen was reached the completion stage. Right? al akmar tulakum dinakum. وَأَتَمَّ عَلَىٰ أُمَّتِي فِيهِ النِّعَمَةِ All the bounty, bounties and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reach the highest point when we say ذِكْرُ عَلِينَ عِبَادَةِ Remembering Imam Ali is a ibadah النَّظْرُ إِلَىٰ وَجْهِ عَلِي زِبَادَةِ Ya Allah, Ya Allah We have numerous ahadith and riwayat Brothers and sisters More than what we can even Think of رضي الله لهم رضي الله رضي لهم الإسلام دينا الله سبحانه وتعالى accepted this deen as a complete deen period. إن الدين عند الله الإسلام. Now that you have everything today is the completion of the deen from Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Brothers and sisters. It's our blessing to be in this great ayat. That's why. Although we are living in the pandemic era, COVID-19, not much luxury for us to go and meet and greet, to say tabriq and, and tahniyat, to uh, you know, shake hands and so on and so forth. But while you are with your families, make sure that take advantage of this day, families, 
as noble prophet of islam he said fal yablugh al hadir al ghaib al walid ila al walad ila yawm al qiyama the one who is attending here the, the one who listen to this they need to convey this to those who are not here and father to his son this should be the continuation till the judgment day subhanallah our sixth imam he said huwa yo huwa eidullah al akbar this is the biggest festival of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the earth wa ma ba'atha al ba'atha allah nabiyan illa wa you know no prophet no nabi was appointed to be a prophet or nabi except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the oath of the day of ghadir wilayat of amir al mu'minin subhanallah i mean is brothers and sisters it's not that simple to think and ponder when we have a hadith and about even in the sunni books and shia books all the books that noble prophet sam said walladhi bayhi nafsi i swear by the one who gave me this uh, you know uh, capacity allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that o oh, people know that if a person he does the day and night ibada fasting he goes to hajj alf hajj 1000 hajj barefoot and he like donates uh, you know the the amount of ohud gold amount of ohud which doesn't exist in this world even uh, with all of that so everything he donated and the way of allah subhanahu wa taala he does everything and they don't have a wilayat of amir al mu'minin are there enemies of imam ali al islam they will not going to have a reeh al janna the fragrance of behisht janna reeh fragrance we're not talking about they should they cannot enter even they cannot be close to janna so that itself is very clear and then our eighth or sixth imam he says ismuhu fi as-sama yawm al-ahad al-ma'hud wa fi al-ard yawm al-mithaq al-ma'khud on the heavens even among the angels and like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a special arrangement for that day yawm al-ahad al-ma'hud where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to take a covenant with angels and like on the earth yawm al-mithaq al-ma'khud mithaq as strong bond we need to how we can do that the day of eid when you are having a, a you know brotherhood sisterhood for sake of beloved imam of iran that's what they're doing you are listening that's what you're doing in your heart you say ya allah alhamdulillah ala hadhihi ni'ma when you greet each other even when you say salam what you say alhamdulillah alladhi ja'alana min al-ruta bi sakina bi wilayat maulana amir al-mu'minin that is what you are giving your oath and allegiance to our imam and also you are receiving from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the bounties and blessings brothers and sisters i know that it's more than what we can talk and discuss at this time i would like to humbly request to all of you take advantage of these moments have a strong bond a strong communities a strong families be connected to islamic centers you have an incredible alim you have an incredible community a great community so with this great community we can achieve a lots of goals even in this pandemic situation get ready for muharram because muharram is a, again continuation of the same problem if you forget ghadir ashra will happen if you forget ashra ghaibat will happen and right now we are in this pandemic situation of ghaibat so we want to go to zaman al hudur we need to be connected with what ghadir may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and give strength and tawfiq to have all the bounties and blessings of this great month uh, this great uh, day and this great eid inshallah all of us we can be among those who congratulate it beloved imam amir al mu'minin with the hand of noble prophet of islam 
and the day of Ghadir, inshallah. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر لكم إلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات بالأخص يوم رحم يوم رحمات الفاتحة مع الإخلاص والصلوات. اللهم صل على